have my uh, emergency vitamin C drink, just trying to stay healthy and not get sick before the concert. <sighs> Last night's rehearsal was good, but it was different than I expected it to be. It was a little tense in the beginning. Actually, I want to call everybody in the band later and be like, just reiterate my gratitude for them and all the time they put in, because they've done a lot of work, man. Tensions were a little bit high, like it was a little bit tense, nothing crazy, you know, but it was a little bit tense because first couple's bunch of songs weren't sounding how we int originally intended. And which is weird because like, I feel like the past rehearsals have been really smooth, but because this was supposed to be a run through, I, you know, it just wasn't going as, as planned. So I actually like halfway through, like, you know, I ran to the bathroom and I kind of literally just took, like, took a minute to myself and was like, hey, relax. Because I, I think part of it was coming from me. I was frustrated. I wanted it to be, be at a certain level and my frustration was coming out. So I took the opportunity. I was like, let's cool off, take two seconds, take a couple deep breaths and remind myself like it's all going to work out. It always works. It always works out. I'm grateful for what it is. I'm grateful for all they've done and have fun. This is supposed to be fun. Take the pressure off. And I, when I went back in there, it was so much better. Maybe, honestly, maybe it was just me. Maybe it was all in my head. <laughs> Yo, if you could see the smile that this comment put on my face, man, it's this is, this is, hey, I used to only watch your channel for reactions. Now I'm solely here for your vlogs, loving the content. Yo, JB, I appreciate that. I mean, I've said this probably dozens of times on the channels and I, and I mean it even more still. Like it even means more to me when people watch the vlogs than when they listen to my music because like music is kind of generic, but like the fact that they were like interested in me and the channel and what I have putting on, like that's, phew, Always means the most, man. Oh, my key's inside. There we go. I am on my way, actually. Kind of cool experience. Arc's Archive, the guy that actually filmed the Wasted Away video for me, he reached out to me and he was like, I wanted to see potentially if you'd be interested in me filming like a little day in the life documentary of what it's like to be you as a musician and a YouTuber. Him be like, here's where I want to be and here's like somebody that's there. And I was like, absolutely, man. I'd be honored, 100%. And then I chose today intentionally because there's a lot going on with the concert and promoting the concert. I figured it'd be be a win-win and I can get the behind the scenes footage for the show and use it for the documentary. Hey man, what's going on? Did you get off the train? I'll be there in two minutes. Cool, at the train station? Yo, you're breaking up, sorry, what was up? Yeah, I missed the train, so I'll be there in two minutes. I okay. Uber. Okay, sounds good. What's up, man? What's up, bro? How are you? Good to see you. How are you doing, bro? Doing well. Danielle, nice shirt, man. Nice shirt. Thank Always you. Been. Man, Aaron said that he was going to bring his, uh, his more than music, and I was like... I wanted to, but I was like... So we got the whole crew together now. We are on our way into the General Northport area to check out the merch situation. I had contacted this local place for the merch. I said, hey, can I just stop by really quickly for like a five minute? I wanted to see the quality of the material before I commit to buying from them. Hi, I'm Jacob. Hey, Jacob. Nice to meet hey, you. Hey, nice to meet you. How are you? Good, how are you? It's a pleasure. Do you have apparel that you've been familiar with in the past? All right, so we are out to lunch at the moment at Shout out to Rocky. Shout out to Rocky who sponsored the event. How did the merch situation go, Danielle? It went pretty good. I got some of my merch. There's a lot of money spent. <laughs> if I could recommend a couple of things, I would recommend artichoke salad is phenomenal. Spicy chicken cutlet parm. It's under the specialties. Bronx chicken oh. cutlet parm. Pork chop martini is phenomenal as well. Oh, oh, I, and I have two more actually. And then the chicken milanese is very good. And the snapper al forno is very good as well. I want a full what, review after the... What did you get? What was I from? Yeah, it's an arugula it salad. Which... Can I help you? Hey, what's going on? I had a quick question for you guys. I was recommended to you a potential uh, embroidery job. I'm curious for a couple, like, say like a dozen hats, if you guys would be able to do something like that by next Friday. Next Friday, yeah, of course. Oh, wow, cool. Okay, great. Sure, so are you bringing hats in or are you going to be ordering hats through us? Likely ordering hats through you. Sure, you can come in at any time today. Okay, sounds great. Perfect. I'm explaining what the 10 means, like two to 10, so. I wanna see how well my branding okay. communication is. I believe it was because like 10,000 was like this huge landmark for you of like on YouTube and you were so excited for when you were gonna hit it. So you made this merch like, oh, once we get a two to 10, you'll be in that club because you've been with me since the beginning. <laughs> Kind of, right? You're close, you're close. I dropped out of college in 2014. Okay. And in 2019, I started going pretty hard on on, on YouTube and I started finally seeing some traction. Okay. 
And now granted, that was five years after I dropped out of college and I wasn't seeing a lot of traction in anywhere. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, whatever the case is. But I was posting consistently. Finally, I distinctly remember the day I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And I was so excited. And I knew how much work that went into that. It took like two years to get a thousand subscribers. Yeah. And add on to that, it took forever. It was a lot of work. The idea of hitting a 10,000 seems so impossible, like so far away. Yeah. So I told myself, I was like, we just hit a thousand. If I could hit 10,000 subscribers, which like I said, feels like an impossible feat, then I'll know that anything else is possible. Yeah. It was like, that number just meant like, I know that this is what I'm meant to be doing and that like anything else after that is achievable. When I hit it, it was a really, really big deal for me because it was like, this is like, we did it. Like, you know, anything is possible. A million, a hundred thousand, a million, 10 million, anything else is possible. So people are like, oh, why don't you change it to like a hundred thousand now? And I'm like, because that's not the point of it. It's not the numbers. It's, no. just, it's the meaning behind to follow your dreams, work your butt off, yeah. and anything possible. Once you possible. reach it, then you can go beyond. So last night at rehearsal, Danielle so graciously took notes while she was there, and I really appreciate that, but I was in no mental state last <laughs> night to, <laughs> to hear the notes. So now we are fully ready to hear the feedback. Okay, over and over again, you need to let Emily sing her verses. And not harmonize? And don't harmonize. Okay. Because because it's more of like a fast-talking singing, it just feels like messy. Like okay. it, it, It's kind of like... It's not all there because you're not able not to. Tight enough. It's not tight because you're not able to sing with her on every note. It's kind of like it comes and goes. So then it just feels too sporadic. Okay. But the one that you really like, the band vibed so well with, and everybody knew really well. Like I could tell a huge difference when we did all night. Oh yeah. Where everyone was just in it. Okay. It's like okay, everybody knows that song. It that needs yeah. to be how all the songs are. Yeah. We got it. Make sure to practice what you want to say during the break when you're introducing everyone. Yeah. Are you guys gonna have another practice before? I don't know. Okay. I said transitions need to be tight. Practice Agreed. the last eight or four bars into the next song. Agreed. Like a whole, uh, like that should be a whole practice. That's great feedback, thank you. You're welcome. I said dress code for band. Yeah. Because it can be distracting. What's course. your opinion on that? What kind of dress code are you thinking? So honestly, normal, the band is in all black. I feel like that's too cl cliche not, though. Not like, well I mean, it's just like because I feel like that I'm in an online school concert. Not like all black, like, oh, wear a suit, but it, like, not everybody can w be the showstopper. Like, you need to be wearing like, something fun or like big because you're the main person. Like, I'll be wearing like a color, like something yeah. fun or like, you know, because I'm featured or whatever. If it if everyone's wearing something like really exciting or exotic or something, then it's just like crazy. So we need to know what people are wearing so that colors aren't clashing. Yeah. You know that sort of thing. Like, I want to make sure that I. I'm not like clashing with you if you're wearing like a so, Hawaiian so shirt or something. Good, you know. So what? So that's a conversation for Her. the three of us to have. Right. Because she's gonna help with the color design okay. of the show, and that's something I want to build the, the clothes around. The Melly and what I said about like how you were over singing. Yeah. Or whatever that I think that'll be easier tonight because you'll actually be able to hear yourself because you have such a great voice and if you're over singing or like shouting or like talk singing sometimes it like takes away from like those nice songs that you have and when Emily's like when Emily was like harmonized with you like her harmony sounds so good but it's not like blending because of the over singing because you're trying to hear yourself 